Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of OptionSource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Well, hi there, and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for June 28, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Let's take a look at a weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. Well, the dollar index continues to hold support at 85, but could slip lower to test this trend line, bringing the 84 level into the picture as the next level of support. Now, the daily chart reflects the consolidation taking place at the 85, 85 and a half level. A break above 86 is likely to follow through with a retest of 87, 87 and a half. Half. Next up, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar as seen here in the ISC FX options pair value CDD. We had identified a possible bullish wedge forming on the CDD as the U.S. dollar tested support against the Canadian dollar down at the 102-103 focal zone. Now we had the 104-105 level uh, labeled as a near-term resistance level, which uh, the pair value did test and reject. A break above 104.5 should open the window for a test of 107-108. Well, the U.S. dollar continues to lose ground against the yen as the YUK slipped lower towards a test of our 88-89 focal zone. We should see some retracement after such a drop. However, 90-91 remains a key near-term resistance. The YUK trend remains down. Well, the EUI is retesting support at 80 and a half, 81 and a half, and failure to hold here opens the window for a drop, which could see the pair value slip as low as 78. A break above 81 and a half opens the window for a retest of this 83-84 focal zone. Well, the BPX broke below that 67.68 focal zone and appears to be heading towards a test of support within that 65.66 level. Any uh, support here and retracement is likely to meet with resistance back within that 67.68 level. The AUX hit our 113.114 support and bounced. A break above 115 should follow through with a test of the 117.118 box. Failure to hold at 113 is likely to test 110. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index found support at 85, but has yet to show any signs of reversal. We need to see a break back above 86 to support a continuation to the upside. The CDD hit 104.5 and, and pulled back the test support at 103. This may be a shallow retracement lining up for a continuation higher. However, we would need to see a break above 104.5 for confirmation. The YUK broke lower and is likely going to test support down at the 88.89 focal zone. After such a significant drop, we may see retracement higher this week. However, the trend remains down. The EUI is consolidating between 80 and a half and 81 and a half. We are cautious of a continuation lower, which would be confirmed by a break below 80 and a half. A break above 81 and a half opens the window for a move higher. The BPX continued to slide lower and appears to be looking for support down at 66. After a significant drop last week, we suspect a retracement high, ha, higher. However, we need to see more evidence of U.S. dollar stability before looking for any bigger picture move to the upside. The AUX bounced at 113.114. A break above 115.5 is likely to follow through with a test of 117.118. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for June 28, 2010. As always, I'm Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an OptionSource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.